down singer Brimo set free to continue music as court rules out injunction. Congratulations are in order as ace Nigerian musician Sound Sultan and wife welcome baby boy. Galatasaray forward DJ Droba set to launch cartoon series. Kenyan artist Y Ray says he's gunning for Grammy nominations. For updates on the go to spots around the world, keep it right here. Hang on tight, it's EL Now. Hello and welcome to yet another great show with us at EL Now. Today we start off on a unique footing with a special focus on African cuisines. Mm, yum yum. Now I don't know about you guys, but I love the sound of the word food. So on our plate today, we are taking you to Kenya and together we'll sample some of the best African cuisine. Weekends come upon us like the proverbial thief in the night and it takes us totally unprepared. And we wake up Saturday morning just trying to figure out what in the world we're going to indulge in to add a little bit of a spark to our 48 hour vacay. So in the light of that, check out the freshest and most glossy events that are going down this weekend across Africa and beyond. Of course, you guys know that EL now offers the best lineup of A-list celebrity studied event listings. Yes, we do. Meanwhile, sometimes I can't help but wonder why some of our male celebrities haven't settled down yet. I mean, they've got it all, fame and lots of women at their disposal. That they do. Well, if you guys are wondering the same, then stick with me and we'll talk about them in detail a little bit later. But for now, let's have the news. Something go around town. Hey, happy people. First off, the court injunction filed by Lidl Chocolate City over a strange artist, Brimo, has been lifted by the Federal High Court. According to the net.ng, at the court sitting, Chocolate City's counsel, Tio Lawal, insisted that the primary concern of the court should be the case of the contract breach by Brimo and not the failure of Chocolate City to fulfill its promise as accused by Brimo. To which the justice stated that, since the plaintiff, Chocolate City, can be compensated at a later date, the defendant is free to carry out his duties as a singer so that none of the parties will be at a disadvantage. You would recall that Brimo's counsel had earlier told the court that the label refused to fund Brimo's album, saying that they were financing other artists in the label even before the expiration of his five-year contract, which ends in April of 2016. After lifting the injunction, the judge adjourned the case till March 19, 2014 to give the councils time to provide witnesses to back up their claims. Congratulations and hearty cheers to Sound Sultan and wife Farida on the birth of their baby boy child. The excited father took to Twitter to express his joy with his baby's picture and a caption stating, Help me and my family thank God. We welcomed in our bouncing baby boy yesterday, 3314. Thanks for prayers always. The child was born on the third day of the third month and is the couple's third child. How perfect. Peace we back again. Speaking of perfection, Seems the Square Brothers aren't the only ones interested in perfecting and reinventing their trade by way of self-animations as Word Around Town has it that Galatasaray forward DJ Droba is set to launch his own self-animation series titled From Tito to Droba. The series, which will show details of his early life and how he achieved what he has today, according to the player, is a fun way to learn lots of things about him and to show young people that if they want to do what he did, they can achieve their objectives. The man responsible for the project, Gavin Bao, says, I met him several times after we did the deal, and he really liked the idea of sending a message to young Africans. Some people say I've made him too perfect, but he's like that. He's very careful about his image because he has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. Additions are first planned for release in Britain. Finally, Kenyan R&B reggae musician Waire said he's working towards being nominated for the Grammy Awards come the end of this year. According to Nairobi Wire, Waire said that his aim, apart from winning the Grammy, was to open up East Africa to the international reggae market. 
I really want to put East Africa on the international map. I want to see East African artists headlining international reggae music festivals and I want to wave the Kenyan flag high out there. I want to see if I can go for a Grammy nomination. Waire, who was nominated for the Best Male Artist category in the 2014 World Music Awards, is setting his sights on the Apex Musical Award now, like his fellow compatriot Lupita Unyongo, who was the first ever black African to win the prestigious Oscars. We wish him all the best. Coming up from Moroccan yumminess to Algerian sweets to Egyptian dips down to Nigerian soups, African cuisine has always been a source of pride to the continent. So today we offer you an all expenses paid tele trip to Nairobi for some foodie delight. This is EL Now. <laughs> Thank you. 